Ugh, these highs are always so obnoxious. Anyways, this video might be a little weird because my husband is like right there and usually when I record I never have anyone in the room. But we're gonna try something new today. So the reason I wanted to make a video today was because I wanted to talk about these morph brushes that I got as well as a few of my favorite blushes. I was going to do a January favorites and then I realized like I haven't tried any of the products I've gotten. Like I have favorites but I feel like maybe next month I'll do one when I'm actually using them more um, regularly I guess. Okay so let's just get started whatever as we all know all of you two people can go and babble on. Um, okay, so, let me just grab the brushes first. Okay, so the other day I actually ordered a bunch of morph brushes because I've heard really good things about them. And I was looking on the website and I was just looking to see, well, first I was going to get a kit. And then I realized I always get these kits and I always use like one or two because it's always missing like a bunch of ones that I really need. So, um... I just got ones that I thought like were unique and I don't have so I'm just gonna go ahead and show them to you okay so I wish like they had the names on it because usually most brushes do but none of these have it so I'll, what I'll do is I'll link exactly what the brushes are called below but I'll just try my best to explain it to you so this right here oh this one actually has the name so I'm gonna show that to you guys right here it's just a very simple uh, soft fan brush but I used it today for my highlight and I really like it um, it's nothing you know so extraordinary but it's super soft which I really like and it has like this nice burgundy handle so it's really pretty um, but yeah I, I never use these for highlights and today when I used it I really liked it because I used my uh, what is this my Mary Luminizer and it just just went on really nicely instead of making it too heavy and then having to blend it out you can just kind of pat it on where you want and even go right here and it's perfect um, I'll also put the prices down below because I don't remember but I know that for all of these I paid like 50 bucks which I think is like not bad at all okay so the next one that I got these are called I believe this one is called um, the bent and I'll show you guys a better swatch and a picture side by side right here but this one is like so so small you probably can't even see that it has anything but it's the detail bent tail on brush and um, the reason I got this is because sometimes I really really want to get in there like for cut creases this works really well especially if you want to make like a specific design or just really go under there so I mean it's so soft but the thing that I like about it is um, a lot of brushes like this they'll be soft but when you get them they're like all I don't know like bent up and stuff like that and this one doesn't shed and I really like that so I'll probably be using this I try to use it today but I wasn't going for too much of a dramatic look so I kind of let it be okay the next one is also very similar oh where did it go yes the next one is similar but it's not bent um, the one for the bent one I really like like this but the reason I got this is sometimes I want to make my eyeliner right here so thin and like just really get in right there and this works really well again I'll show you side by side swatches for all of these um, so there's that not swatches I mean pictures <laughs> And then the next one I got, I don't know, it's so random. Some of these have names and some don't, but this is basically an angled brush right here. It's super soft. I got this for two reasons. One, I like going first right here in the cut crease and just kind of like shaping it out before I blend it. And this I thought would work really well. And two, I love using these when I use kind of like powder stuff for my eyebrows. So uh, it's, again, all of these are so soft and I love it. You can really tell that it's good quality for what it's worth. And then the next thing I got, which I really like, I saw this on the website and I was like, I had to have it. It's uh, kind of like this tailored kabuki, but two-sided. One is like super small and I used it for my concealer right here and it's just kind of good again to like blend in. So, I mean, I know all of these have a specific purpose, but I feel like with brushes you should use them the way that it makes sense to you honestly and this one I got for the same reason but actually I used it for my blush today and I really liked it it just kind of went on really nicely and uh, again they're so soft that they're easy to work with and blend okay so the last one I got the reason I got this one right here 
and this is called i believe the flat kabuki contour but again i'll put the link below um i've been wanting the nars ito brush for a long time but it's always sold down and it's like 40 bucks so kind of like do i really want to spend that much money for just something that is flat like i know that the purpose of it it's great but i feel like i've contoured with other things too and it works just as well um but i know that if it wasn't out of stock i'd probably buy it so as soon as i saw this it kind of reminded me of that and i actually used it today along with my wonderful anastasia um, contour kit and it just worked so well like i was even able to blend with this which i really like you know you just kind of make the line right here and it's again it's just so soft it's perfect to go around here especially like right around the jawline honestly if you cannot find the nars Ita brush you have to get this i think it was i want to say like 15 bucks and i think it's some, probably one of the more expensive ones on the site but even then i think 15 bucks in comparison to how much some other ones are is totally totally worth it and again like i said it's soft because some of these could be so dense that you kind of just like put the line there but you can't blend it out this is definitely not like that so those are all the brushes that i got um i also just because i was like doing my makeup today and i realized like i have so, like so many blushes but just some of them are my favorite so i figured that along with this video i'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of my favorite blushes so let's just get started okay this one is a fairly recent purchase i think i showed it in my haul or i might not have um but basically it's the milani baked blush and i really like these milani baked blushes my husband's looking at me, so I'm just like laughing. Um, this one is called Coralina. It's much deeper than the Luminoso. Like, you know, when you put this on, it's really pigmented. Let me see if I can show you guys a swatch. It's going to be kind of hard to see. But again, I'll put a side-by-side -side swatch and thing right there. But it's really pretty. It kind of has like shimmers and stuff in it. Um... And it's a lot more pigmented, so you don't need too much. The first time you used it, I thought it was going to be the Lum like the Luminoso, and I was like, I had to really blend it out. So I really like this. I really like coral type blushes, especially with a little bit of shimmer. Sometimes I feel like I don't even need to use a highlighter. That's one. Again, just on that bandwagon. Here's another Milani baked blush. This one is called Red Vino, and it's just like a really super beautiful red one as well. Really pigmented. Um... Again, I did the same thing with this. The first time I used it, I was like, oh, you know, how pigmented can it be? And it was, like, so red, I just had to blend it out. So I've learned that these last a really long time and go a very long way. Um, and I actually used this once for eyeshadow, and it looked really pretty. So I love things like that, where you can use it for more than one thing. And then, of course, the Luminoso that I was talking about. This blush, like, I don't know why it took me so long to get, but as you can tell how much I've used it, because there's, like, no writing on it. It's the most perfect, like, when you want to do kind of like a no makeup day and just put it on. It's so perfect. I really love it. And then I have one more, but if... Oh, no. It's right here. This one is from Sleek Makeup. And their stuff is so pigmented. I mean, I have, like, pretty much all their blushes, I think I want to say. Especially the ones on the 3x3 palette. And this one is called um, Flamingo. And it is, as you can tell, like, it's almost as pink as the flowers back there. Like, again, a little goes a long way. Um, I've realized a few times that I've used it so much. And then when I look at pictures, I'm like, whoa, I did not need to use that much. I know that makes me sound like I don't know how to wear blush. But it's very pigmented. I'll put swatches and stuff um, right here so you can see it because... It's kind of hard to tell here, but it's just so beautiful. Again, things like this I love because I feel like they last so long and they go with uh, different types of makeup. So all of the ones I showed you, I feel like they each go with different looks. And I actually have one more, but I fell on the floor, so I'm just going to go right down there and I'll be right back. Okay, back. This one I actually got, so when I was going on my honeymoon, we went to the Duty Free and... I don't know why, I feel like at that time I just wanted to buy something, but I'm really glad I picked that up because I really like it. Um, it's called Tease Your Taste, and it's a cream blend blush from MAC, and it looks like this. I really don't use too many cream blushes because I, cause I don't, I don't know, I feel like I can't blend them out with a brush, and I don't always like using my hands like on it because then I feel like, okay, maybe my foundation is going, but this one is so pretty that even if you just wear it with that foundation like on a no makeup day, it's just really gorgeous let me see if i can give you guys a swatch i'll put a swatch below like beside it but as you can tell uh it's just really like this really nice mauvey dusty rose color and i know a lot of 
things that describe like that but it really is you know even if you want to put it over a blush just to kind of blend it in it's really nice um, and I just like these cream blushes like it's one of the few cream blushes from MAC no not from MAC it's one of the few cream blushes of different companies that I've tried that I like and I feel like I want to just go and pick up some more but for now those were my favorite Sorry if I was speaking so fast in this video. I didn't want to make it super long because all my videos seem to be like that. Um, but I hope you're all doing well and enjoying 2014. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions on what type of videos you want to see, link that below. And I am working on um, making some tutorials, but I'm really trying to get that setup kind of fixed. And so once I do, I will go ahead and do that for you guys. So I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. And thanks so much for watching.